back for more. Much of this is still damp, but not dripping wet, so I think I can get by with some glazes. For those are, for you painters or other perhaps watching me, um, I used to be very gentle. <laughs> Too bad you didn't know me when I back when I was nice. <laughs> um, I used to be very gentle about uh, urging people to paint with two hands. Um, I've lost patience. <laughs> um, I'm, I, um, um, listen, when you go to a concert, piano, any kind of music concert, nobody, nobody, nobody says, golly, look at that musician. They're playing with two hands. Nobody. Every musician, almost every musician, learns to play with two hands. And uh, it's, no, it's no big deal. So again, for those of you who are up and coming or struggling or emerging artists, I tell you, when I, when I, I mean, it, I've, I know I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm very self-aware. <laughs> um, I just think I'm a good weirdo and everybody should join me. When I watch expert, excellent, excellent painters online, when I watch them paint, uh, and, and admittedly, some of them are better than I am, but when I watch them paint with one hand, it drives me crazy. I say, what are you doing with that other hand? Look at it, are you injured? You get hurt in the war or something? Motorcycle accident left you with one, only one arm that works? <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for them. It's amazing they're as good as they are since they only use one hand. Anyway, like I said, too bad you didn't know me back when I was nice. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> enough of that glaze. Let's do some more, a little bit of drawing. Um, I'll use regular length brushes this time. I love those long brushes, but I only have two of them with me tonight. And they don't quite have the points on them that I want. Okay, let me turn around and actually see what I'm painting just a little bit. Okay, so I've, I've ranted and raved that much. It begs the, the obvious question, why? Why, why, why? Why paint with two hands? Um, you ready? I mean, I've said this so many times, but the essence of good painting is making interesting marks. The sin qua non, sin qua non probably, of, of good painting is making interesting marks. And the, the core, the key issue in, of interestingness is variety. Variety is the number one characteristic of interesting strokes. And when you add a second hand to your repertoire, You've doubled the variety, almost. You're, 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 you're now easily making many more interesting marks. Now I could talk a lot more and I won't tonight. By the way, this is a wedding reception, so it's always questionable how much of this I'll be able to actually broadcast tonight because of course I've got to serve my, my clients first and foremost and I don't want them feeling like they're playing second fiddle to an invisible audience on YouTube. So I need to be careful and just feel out, feel out the group, see if I think they're comfortable with what I'm doing and so forth. I did not receive any <coughs> special instructions tonight about the content of this. It just the instructions were the contract read reception. Um, but that almost certainly means first dance. <coughs> Although I'm not going to, the, the bride and groom, as you can see, they're not going to be as large as I sometimes do. 
which I actually prefer. I, I, for some reason, I like to try to capture the essence, the feeling of the evening. And of course, number one, I want to produce a good painting. Everything else pales in comparison to that one overarching goal. So let's try to do a good painting, shall we? <laughs> you and me, <laughs> we're all in this together. It's a little bit dangerous to rough in the bride and groom before they show up, but sometimes I don't have much choice. I've got to get something going in there. Uh, but I don't even know um, which one is taller. You know, that, that's <laughs> a very fundamental issue. plants, barrel, barrel, and people. And bride and groom right there. One of the reasons I might be able to get away with uh, broadcasting more at this wedding is that I'm a little bit off the beaten path. I'm a little bit set off in a corner Okay, I think that composition's working. I'm going to pause right there and let that dry. I really need to let that dry because the next layer I'm coming back with is white and I don't want to pick up too much dirt while I'm doing the white, okay? Thanks for watching. Stop there and be back in a few minutes.